M40XL, and it's at the Maxon computer website. And there's the site. You can go to Downloads, and Downloads will allow you to download demo versions. And the demo versions are like two sorts. There's one that allows you to save the work files you're working on immediately. That means, but it was only good for 30 days. Or is it 30 days or 45 days? That may not last the whole semester. So actually, you may want to learn the software a little bit more before you, you know, go ahead and erase things, drop things. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter that you save every file. So maybe you want to just use the one that isn't save disabled. And then after maybe three weeks or four weeks or five weeks, get the one that's got the save, and it'll last you to the end of the semester, okay, at home. Now, you have to have a computer that's kind of good enough. And you might, if you don't, if you have a bad graphics card on your computer, it, when you load Cinema, it'll say, can't use this computer bad graphics card. In which case, you really have to use it at school. It's here in this lab, it's here in the Mac lab over there, and I think it's on the PCs over there at Ben Sean too, right? So, at the same time, the other thing about this website that's nice is uh, there's documentation. So if you want to download a PDF file, uh, you know, we, we're, I don't think we have a, a re release 11.5. Let's go find out what release we have. To open it on a Mac, you go to Applications. You scroll down or hit the M key, which takes you to Maxon. And then you wrote, we're, we have Release 11, all right? And we double click that. Not opening, there we go, double click it. There we go, you gotta watch it open. All right, so Release, you know, comes up on the screen, etc. So we're at Release 11.02, which is all well and good. All right, now. Um, oh, it doesn't have the top buttons. Oh, it doesn't have these buttons? Okay, good. Perfect. You see it now? Good for you. Thank you for noticing that. Okay. All right, maybe you just do this. Yeah? Is it on? Okay, yes. good. All right, so uh, here's the program. Now, there's two annoying things about the Macintosh and this version on a Macintosh that you should correct right away. The first annoying thing is that on the mouse button, if you press these buttons like so, actually it looks to me like some, as if somebody has turned this off. But occasionally you'll notice that the screen goes into this mode, and you don't know why. Have you seen this on a Mac? Have you seen this on these Macs? All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Else pops up. So other things pop up on the okay, screens. Yeah, now, that's because the mouse, which is three button and has a fourth button over here, can be program to behave a certain way. Now, because this is my account, I've already turned off all this stuff. I want to show you how you can turn it off on a Mac. So when you're in a lab and all this weird shit is happening with your mouse, this is how you turn it off. And these are the preferences that you'd like to have. Now, once again, we're in the system preferences on the Macintosh computer. You've got a keyboard and mouse. We have the primary button is the left button. I'm right-handed, so the left button is good. You could flip it for left-handed or right-handed. The secondary button is good, that's what it should be. And the third button is, will end up being scroll, it's the mount, it's the little thing there, it'll end up being scroll and you can use it as such. And then the fourth button, see this is off. If I turn on button four and I do this, uh, I'm sorry, sometimes it'll do this, okay? Right? Or sometimes when you hit it wrong, it'll do this. These are the things you want to avoid, and you avoid it by going in here and turning on off. You don't want anything on. Now, this won't matter so much to the bigger thing, although it's true that when I'm in a link here, I can right click and it'll show another menu. Alright, so it's true. And it's also true that this will work the scroll button and various things. But the real benefit for us comes when we use Cinema 4D. Because actually, if I use the scroll button, the middle button, I can zoom in and out just simply with the scroll. I can also right click and get a menu bar. If I haven't turned that on as the secondary button, that won't happen. Okay? Now, most Macs originally in the old days used to come with no three button thing, and that changed. Now they have three button, five button, nine button, 29 button, whatever button. You used to also use the option key for the secondary button, or the command key for the secondary button, okay? All right, now the other thing that's slightly annoying when this program opens up 